In this video, we're gonna demonstrate how to deep fry and how to batter food. For battering food, um, whereas our standard breading procedure is going to be dry, wet, dry, uh, the process for battering is dry, wet. So we're going to start by uh, dredging our product into uh, our first dry, which is our seasoned flour, and then we're going to go into the wet, which is our batter. So for the purposes of this video, I've just prepared a very basic beer batter, uh, but the same would apply to any batter. From there, I'm going to take my uh, my battered food and put it into my oil and I'll show you the technique we're going to use for that. But let's start. Okay, so I'll dredge a few of my chicken strips here. I'm always going to give uh, my product a good shake after each dredge okay. and then it's going to go right into my batter. Again, I'm going to have a dry hand and a wet hand. So at this point, my wet hand going to run my product through the batter and then it's going to go into our oil. When I put it in the oil, um, I'm going to kind of get some of this excess batter off. I don't want it to be drippy. Okay. And then when I put it in the oil, I'm just going to kind of pull it back and forth through the hot oil before I drop it in. This is really important because this uh, product is going to sink down to the bottom when I drop it in. And that slow sweeping it through the oil is going to help a crust develop uh, around the food so that it doesn't stick to the bottom and doesn't stick together. So I'm going to go ahead and continue to batter these, shaking them after I dredge them, running them through my batter, okay. wiping off any excess and pulling them through my oil before dropping them in. All right, we're gonna keep an eye on the temperature, try to hold a steady 350 degrees uh, while these chicken tenders fry. Uh, in the meantime, I'm gonna go wash my hands and we'll check back in with you in a few minutes. All right, so the uh, product has gotten a nice brown color. Uh, the food has risen to the top. Uh, all of these are good indicators that my, uh, my product is done. I'm just gonna go ahead and temp just to make sure. All right, and we are exactly where we wanna be. So I'm gonna go ahead and use a spider strainer. To remove my chicken from the oil. And then I always wanna season just a little bit when it comes out, even though my uh, batter as well as my um, uh, seasoned flour was seasoned. Let's review. When battering food, we're going to use a dry, wet system. Starting with dredging our food in the dry, which is our seasoned flour, then into our batter before going into the oil. Next, when adding our battered food to the oil, we want to delicately run the food through the hot oil for a few seconds to help a crust develop. This is going to make sure that our food doesn't stick together uh, or stick to the bottom when we're deep frying. Finally, heat management is going to be very important with deep frying. We want to maintain a constant 350 degrees. Going too low, our food will get soggy. Too high, the outside will brown before the inside cooks. And if it gets really too hot, uh, we run the risk of our deep fryer catching on fire.